Hey YouTube, I want to make a fast tutorial showing you guys how to remove and then reattach the gimbal on your DJI Phantom 3. Mine happens to be the uh, Phantom 3 standard model. And as you guys can see in this picture, uh, my camera vibration absorbing board was cracked in a crash. Uh, I put the link to this part in the description below. And here's a quick shot of what I ordered off of Amazon for 15 bucks. I actually have flown it a couple of times after the crash and I didn't even didn't even notice that it was broken at first. Uh, now I won't be replacing my entire gimbal unit with a brand new one um, as mine miraculously is is still working um, but replacing uh, the camera vibration absorbing board um, follows the exact procedure of installing an entirely new uh, OEM factory gimbal. So before we get going I wanted to show you guys this crash. Uh, it was pretty gnarly but um, the copter somehow hung in there. Uh, before you guys comment, you know, I know this wasn't the safest place to be flying, um, so just try to keep all your hate mail to a minimum. Okay, back to the install. So, um, for, this, uh, for this installation, you guys are only going to need a knife, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and a small Allen wrench. Um, and it's always best practice to, to remove the battery before you do any modifications or repairs, um, so we'll, we'll first do that. Um, Alright, so flip the uh, Phantom upside down so it's resting on the motors or the props, and we're going to start by uh, removing the two plastic pins that run between the white uh, rubber dampeners. These can be a little bit tricky, but they can certainly be removed without breaking them. Uh, this is how they normally look uh, when they're in operation on your DJI Phantom and you can remove them by simply forcing the small uh, sliding piece um, force that to, to rest over the widest or the wider portion of the pin shaft like in this photo. Um, that's going to expand the small teeth uh, just a small amount and allow them to, to come all the way off after, um, after doing that without breaking them. So now that you've uh, removed the gimbal, you'll notice that there's three uh, connections still uh, between the, the gimbal and the multi-rotor. The ribbon cable can be removed by hand. Uh, I just got my thumbnail in there, and it was easy to, easy to pop right off, but the other two wires are a little bit different. Before you want to uh, take the other two wires off, you want to look at the orientation of both of them as we're going to be reinstalling them in the same exact order. Uh, I believe there's black and gray, so make sure that they uh, you just take note of, of which one went where. Now in order to remove the other uh, two wires, we're going to have to remove these two plastic covers. And this is done by removing uh, two small Phillips head screws on the back side. So after you remove these two screws, uh, the covers will pop right off and they will expose the two connections which then can be removed gently using the blade of your knife. Uh, they'll pop right out and, um, and shouldn't give you too much trouble. Just make sure that you don't nick any of the wiring. So now that we've completely separated the gimbal from the multi-rotor, we can remove the four Allen head screws that hold the vibration dampening board onto the Phantom itself. Um, in my case, I'm, I'm replacing this board. So reinstall those uh, two connections in the same orientation in which they were moved earlier. You can be able, to, you should be able to just pop them back on uh, with your fingers. It's not too hard, but there is a small pin in there, so be sure to take your time. You don't want to bend anything. Um, flip the gimbal over and reinstall the uh, two covers that you removed with the two um, Phillips screws for each one, and then. Um, push the clear plastic pins back through the white rubber dampeners and that'll re-secure your new gimbal to uh, your Phantom and you should be all done. If you found this information to be helpful I'd really appreciate you liking this video below and uh, if you have some more time check out a couple of my better DJI Phantom flights.